Greetings, fellow space constructors. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Stellaris First Contact, Episode 27, Megastructures. Right. I wanted a matter. Where is the nearest black hole? I've got one down here at the Singularity. Maybe I'll do it here. Matter decompressor. Well, that will fix my economy very quick once those are built. Uh, other edicts. I could also do the construction edict. I already have the cons uh, the Renaissance one. Are there others that I could pair? No, I don't have the Mega Project edict. I don't think. That's okay. Uh, one more minute to vote in that poll. Leave him as witness to my glory. <laughs> so I did mention that I wanted to redesign the battleships a little bit, the Shona class ships. So the problem with the Shona class ships is the nanite auto cannons and the plasma cannons are not really being used that much because the Giga Cannon has such range. So I'm actually going to turn these into. Um, line ships that advance to medium range unless i want to give them longer ranged weapons i could put deck them out into kinetic artillery with like um uh pair that with um the f maybe what is this this is 150 range this is one are they the same nearly the same shield damage this does more hull damage a lot more shield damage oh, less armor damage yeah let's let's use those they require uh, artifacts but that's fine oh those are medium slots uh yoink so this does shield damage at 120 yeah, I mean, this could work. And then we'll give the nanite repair systems. I think that's pretty much what we were rocking. I don't know... I'm going to still have them be line ships, though. Anyway. There we go. So we have the new Shona. So this does crazy high shield damage. Actually, neither of these weapons do good armor damage. Um, so maybe tack lances with it. Yeah. Tack lance with kinetic artillery. Yeah, that'll work for me. And I could also design other types of ships. So for my Titans, they are set up as artillery ships, which makes sense because they have super, super, super long range. And I'm, I don't think I'm going to toy with them. But all right, let's retool. You guys do want me to subjugate? Propose... Independent diplomacy is fine. Uh, they come to my defense. Give me a holding. United censors, and they will agree. Okay. Well, we're definitely whittling down any uh, independent empire now. Sort of uh, cutting up the the galaxy into pieces for us to eat. Why do I care about a gateway? Why would it even? I don't understand why the game would even inform me 
Like, I don't care about gateways. Technology discovered. Food's really good. Maybe I'll do command limit. Get mega fleets. Special project complete. Temple of Transportation as a research option. So it's warning me that my um, artifacts are full again. I'll reverse engineer some technology this time around. I think I just make too many artifacts that I just don't even know what to use with them. Suffering from success. I think what I'll do is um, maybe I'll get another fleet out. Because I have a lot of starbase capacity, and it wouldn't be a terrible idea for me to um, prep just like mega fleets. So if the endgame crisis is a difficult one, I can just win in a blink. You know, I actually don't want to starbase there, though, because Rankin, once they ascend, if they ascend, will become its own independent nation. So, uh,. I'll lose that base eventually. Hey, Steel Boot. Welcome and thank you for the resub. My fleets are taking a long time to retool. Ships upgraded. Man, those are... That's a dangerous... Oh my god. That is a dangerous battleship. Your Titan. Ships upgraded. I hope they'll perform better now. Alright. We're starting on the mega projects. And I think while we do that, I'll just um, try to um, connect relays to everything. Clen, uh, you are complaining. Uh, you know, I will issue a formal apology. I don't really care how you feel, though. Is there a chance to finish Solaris game before the crisis? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. So an attempt to repair some of the damage done to the relation between our empires. Um, yeah, so Clen doesn't like me because I'm creating a Dyson Sphere. I don't really care how they feel. Since we supported their resolution, MSI owes us a favor. Okay. Oh, I forgot that I brought Zabarian in, but didn't actually make a holding. Complete. Construction complete. Bang face, you want a uh, mega shipyard? I could do that next. Uh, 
There's not really a lot left for me to even build, so Mega Shipyard would make complete. sense. What I'm trying to do is raise my naval capacity until I can support uh, more Titans. By building anchorages on the border of my empire. Construction. Bordering, complete. you know, potential threats, I guess. This is the third. There we go. Ships upgraded. Wow, it takes so long to get the ships upgraded. You wish there was a mod that would allow you to select the end upgrade. That'd be that'd be neat. Just like do build a bastion, build a trade, build a yeah, I could see that being being useful. Alright, the matter decompressor stage one is built. More people becoming spiritualists. You don't say. Oh, great, they're fanatically. Oh, joy. Construction complete. Construction complete. Silly galaxy I live in. Construction complete. I'm gonna wince it looking at this. Oh man. Bang face. You are generator and maybe a little agriculture? So I'll give you egg. Orbital. And then Nar, you are mining. So we'll give you mining. I thought I already did this. Maybe just deja vu. Technology discovered. Temple of Transportation. Available envoys plus 0.25 and unity from hyper relays. Okay. And I basically already have it done. Works for me. I don't know what's going on with my trade lanes. I think these are the systems that were uh, attacked and the trade lanes Technology didn't self-fix at the end, end of that war. I don't really know how you get a 0.25 of an envoy. To cut them into bits or something. Tiamat probably does not need to be a bastion anymore. Well, no, I mean, maybe it does. Because it's not just my trade lanes that pass through here, it's other people's trade lanes. Yeah, it does. Because I don't want piracy because of neighbors and their problems. Technology discovered. A fleet can be built. Why not a Corvette or Destroyer fleet? Should I make another fleet? Yes or no? Ships I'll have you guys decide. Next stage of the Quantum Catapult. So my fleets show that they have less fleet strength, but I think you can ignore that. They're not weaker. 
Technology They're just different. Discovered. And note to self, Medea's getting pirates. Add some weapons to the starbase. Uh, which one? The Bastion one? Oh, yeah, I don't have a starbase there. And I don't have any more uh, starbase capacity, so I would have to research for additional starbase capacity. I could do. Okay, you want another fleet? What sort of new fleet? Battleship, Corvette, Carrier, or Exotic Weapons. Give you a few different options. A new faction? Really? Led by Kadath. Kadath, you are a believer in what? Authoritarian militarist. <laughs> Some scientists you are, dude. <laughs> oh, man. Comfort the fallen. No thanks. I think the forced, yeah, so the for, forced peace treaty between me and Yuru are over. It's been 10 years since that war. Uh, so I am free to declare additional wars if I so please. It bothers me that, uh, GGU hasn't made a hyperspace relay here. I guess there's a pirate station there, so maybe that's why. I can go help them with that. Did I want to look at my vessel contracts for new vessels? Yeah, uh, let me analyze the contracts. So we've got laws of Uden. So GGU, terms of negotiation. They wouldn't like that, so that's fine. Laws of Aden. Nope, the uh, terms. Unified sensors. Independent diplomacy. And I could raise my holding limit to three? Why not? Why not three holdings? Sounds good. Uh, MSI. Term negotiation. I hate them. Uh, but they're not going to be happy with any changes. Gox, what about you? And thank you for reminding me. Uh, nothing I want to change here. I could raise my holdings. Might as well. Um, Ungus. You want to be a bulwark? I'll give you independent diplomacy and unified sensors and more holdings. You guys want to carry your fleet? I'll do that in just a moment. Let me get through this. Hadam. Uh, I can't. Oh, no, I can change it. But you're on your way to becoming a Prospectorium. And I'm not going to change much about that. So these are the newest. Oops. There we go. Done. I think they were just a uh, protectorate. 
You guys are protectorate. I'm what I'm doing is I'm forcing um forcing. I'm negotiating so that if I ever get attacked. Oh, and I lack the influence for this one. If I ever get attacked, uh people will come to my aid. So I'll be I'm sort of in like in a giant defensive pact with all of my um my vassals. Construction complete. How about I get a little bit more influence? Um, go to edicts, go to hearts and minds. No, it's a uh, will to power. There it is. Yeah. Plenty of influence. 14 influence a, uh, a month. So I was uh, doing glycip here. Defensive. Construction what? complete. It says I don't have 100. Whatever, I'll just wait 20 days. Construction complete. That must be rounded. Engaging I must have like 99.9. Alright. And I left off with Glycep, so I'll have to... It'll take me a minute to do the others, because... I need the Construction influence. complete. I can support uh, two more Titans. Cool. So I'll build a... So you guys wanted a carrier fleet. So the current priority is work on infrastructure, mega projects. I'm not going to put carrier fleet in there. So let's do ship designer for a new carrier design. I don't know if I want a battleship carrier or not, though. Because the hangar core of the battleship is only one hangar. Right? Um... I don't want frigates. Cruisers. I'm trying to think of like what is my most bang for my buck to get as many um to get as many probably cruisers, I'd imagine. Right? Well, the carrier core is two. Oh, and then it has the hangar bow. Okay, I'll do battleships. Uh, carrier design, I'm going to name after you guys. So this one's going to be the Fang Face. We'll put in Ancient Driller Drones. I think they're the highest DPS anyway. No, they actually are beaten out by the Strike Craft. So one strike craft, two driller drones, that works for me. Bunch of nanite flak batteries. And stinger web defenses. The large one here will be cloud lightning. That sounds weird, and I like it. And then uh, ancient nano missile cloud launchers. <laughs> and... Cavitation Collapser. This is like the weirdest ship design ever. Um, I'm going to give it a carrier computer. Looking good. Such a weird design. But it should be a lot of fun to watch them as they uh, get deployed, so at least there's that. And I'll roll them out in just a second. So Fang Face Shipyard, I think is my... Nope, I don't make my Titan. So Yudaris will make a Titan of each. And then... Well, hold on. I'll do this better. Because this is going to be confusing otherwise. Let me roll one of the Fang Faces out, and then I'll design the fleet around that Fang, original Fang Face. Hey, Comrade Truck. Thank you for the raid. You were also playing Stellaris. Tell me about uh, what were you doing over in your stream. 
This here is a payback origin, and I'm Engaging right now just like enemy flexing station. on the universe. There's really not much left for me to do other than to wait for the in-game crisis. As uh, I've kind of destroyed everyone. But how is it going for you today? Discovered. You and your raiders. Ah, PvP lobby action. That's cool. I've only had bad experiences playing multiplayer, sadly. And, like, not for the reasons you'd think. Of, like, people getting really upset playing multiplayer. And that's not fun. It's not fun when no one's having, you know, when everyone's upset. <laughs> So, uh, I, I avoid playing multiplayer for the, those reasons. And others. Now, it looks to me like my uh, strategic resources are out of whack. I need more moats and crystals. Just wondering if I get any of the freebies. So we'll do moats. And crystals. Ah, it's a tight community and you do reg uh, competitive lobbies? That makes sense. Yeah, I was I was not playing with people that um, were used to PvP competition type stuff, so all it did was upset them and it was it was a mess. And I was like, okay, I won't be doing this again. I uploaded the wrong episode of Dredge. Oh, that sounds like me. Well, let, me let me check that out while I multitask. Yeah, it should have been seven, shouldn't it? Uh, I can fix that. <laughs> uh, Catapult is online. Nice. I need a new Mega Project. I did uh, promise Fangface I would build him a Mega Shipyard. So stop what you're doing and head over to Fangface for a Mega Shipyard. Thank you for the warning about uh, about YouTube's wrong episodes. It happens. Often to me. Complete. But I'll, I'll have the new one up in just a minute. Um, more minor artifacts. And Dreadnought is fighting someone. That's fine. Oh, one thing I haven't done is I haven't gone through this wormhole, which obviously just leads to Quarantan. Um, so I'm going to have the researcher at Kelly and Prime come over here and explore the wormhole so I, I actually have it logged. The Fang Face Battleship is ready. Yep, as soon as I'm done, like, fixing YouTube's episodes, I will get to that. An unknown signal on the other side of the wormhole. I know what that is. But it's already been cleared by uh, whoever was there first. Dyson's frame is done. Cool. And then the matter decompressor is on its way. And then the construction ship for Fangface's mega shipyard is, I think, ready to go as well. Fangface, uh, I apparently can't build one here. There's no valid spot for me to drop a mega shipyard. So it's going to be on a neighboring Jewgrad. That's the best I can do. Final offer. Insured sovereignty. Let's end this. Actually, you know what? I was renegotiating my um, my vassal contract, so I'm not going to use my 
influence this way. I think it would be a bit of a waste. I'll hold on to the influence instead and continue uh, negotiating the vassal contracts. All the while trying to get an episode airing on YouTube. Uh, continue the vassal contracts. I was, I think I had done Gliceb, so I really only have RSI. I don't even have a holding for them. Let's do eight agency like I do for everybody else. Done. And then, um, independent expansion permitted, unified sensors, and I lack the influence. Okay, so that will have to take a minute. There is not a carrier Titan design. Titans are actually pretty restricted about what um, construction complete. What you're allowed to do with them, more so than any other ship type, just the way it is. Okay, the correct episode of Dredge just went out. If you're wondering, sorry about that, and thank you for the heads up. Oop. Yeah. Construction complete. Can we get two episodes of Dredge? Uh, I guess, sort of, technically. I just unlisted the other one, so... If you have it up... Yes, if you don't have it up, then it's disappeared. All right. This scientist was from Kelly. No, it was from... Yeah, it was from Kelly. So go back. And now time to make the new carrier fleet. So here's the Fang Face. I guess it will be third fleet. Uh, needs an admiral. Not you, because you are not erudite. Sorry, fired. So Amelia Broadbank. And your Amelia, your name is going to be Chris. So let's modify the fleet. We'll add in a Titan of each type. And then just as many battleships as I can shove in there, which is apparently 26. I do lack some alloys for the first time, which is weird because I have, I had like 100,000 alloys for a long time. So I'm just going to uh, tank these row and alloy market. And it's at full strength. Good. That'll be a fun uh, fleet to watch enter combat. I can actually support even one more Titan than that. Technology uh, discovered. But I kind of like to pair them together. So I'm going to hold off on rolling one out. Natural Sanctuaries. Forget about that. Space and Media Protection? Um, sure. I've been killing them, but sure. Still need rare crystals. So even at my capital, it's a very inappropriate thing to put at a capital, though. I could, however, do Ancient Refinery. Yeah, let's put an ancient refinery. I'm in the hole right now for minerals, but like that's gonna change as soon as um as soon as I get the matter decompressor, which uh literally just next stage finished just now. So at the end of the month this should um rebalance and be yep, yeah, there it goes. Two hundred in the positive. Discovered. No problem there. Oops. Too much. I may need to retool the fleet depending on the in-game crisis. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. So at this point, because of how strong I am uh, on the Senate floor, I might want to just start tampering with um, all the all the resolutions that I want. So let's go through them. This one I like. This one is fine. I wouldn't mind uh, relocating the Galactic Market again um, because I would like it to be on my home world. But my home world, Yadari Prime, actually doesn't do a lot of trade good. So I still might not get it. Uh, the other thing I, before I forget, is the terms negotiation with my uh, vassals. So let me do that first. Two holdings, that works. And then the last one would be Zibirian. Oh, no, I did Zibirian already. Well, I could get another holding, so sure, why not? All right, so now the rest of my influence can be used to sort of tamper with the the world here. Um, polit politics and culture. Champions of the community. That works for me, because that only makes me stronger. Council members gain additional capaci naval capacity, and then custodian gains additional naval capacity. Other members lose, so it's good for me. I wouldn't repeal that. Constitutional immunity. Uh, you know, I wouldn't mind constitutional immunity because I am every now and then, uh, at, in breach. So maybe that will be the next proposal I propose. Laws for thee and not for me. You know, like a boss. <laughs> I mean, I haven't made myself emperor yet, even though I'm almost as strong as everybody else combined. Uh, so... Quick question for you guys. Uh, what should I do next? Build up my allies and vassals. Improve infrastructure. Punishment. Wars. I forget, did I have Colossi? I don't think I did Colossus. No, I didn't. I went the, like, I'm going to be nice to people route. Punishment Wars or other viewer suggestions. All right. Five minutes about my next focus here. Timer's right there. And thank you for voting. I had a bunch of um, unity, so I'm just gonna like fully ascend my planet. There it goes ascension tier ten. Did that overnight. Uh, so if you're wondering for ascension tier ten, it gets additional stability, complete. amenities, governing ethics, attraction, resource firm, uh, jobs, and you know resettlement, and all that. Huge gains there. I'm still lacking the rare crystals, huh? Complete. Construction eh, complete. Initiating communications. I have also some additional holdings to uh, to roll out. I wouldn't mind holdings that help with loyalty. Or at least don't hurt loyalty. So... Garrison may be... The next one to do. Help them with their crime. I mean, to me, it just kind of seems like I'm policing other people. And yeah, that's pretty much true. Didn't I have one of these that I had four holdings, though? I don't see them. Oh, here is the Fame Face fleet. Oh, no, not yet. They're still waiting on the Titans. But yeah, that is a weird ship build. Super weird. You've never seen a full-scale fortress? Uh, I could build one. If I was to build one, it would make sense to put it on Terminal Egress. So let me uh, set up Terminal Technology Egress to be like discovered. Super Gunner. Is that what you mean? Fortress? No. You mean Fortress? What? 
So, Scorpio, what do, what do you mean by Fortress World? Like, setting up a world to be, like, super defensive? I've never done that either, just because it doesn't serve much of a purpose unless you're getting bombarded to hell. And if you are, a Technology Fortress World's probably not going to save you. But I could do it if you're if you want. Construction complete. Oops, I have no idea what that pop-up was. That was bad timing. I think it was the artist asking me to be their patron again. Yes, it was. The mega shipyard is ready to be expended upon. I'm definitely running out of alloys. Um, for these projects, though. Well, only because I'm make, making three mega projects at once. It's an unusual uh, <laughs> amount of uh, alloys required. There's also something I could do about it. Uh, going into my edicts, it would be... No, there really isn't an alloy one, is there? Forge subsidies, I guess. Sure, why not? Construction complete. Dog treats. Sure thing. Here, dude. Initiating communications. Right, right there. You'll find it. I hope. Okay, building up allies and vassals. Got it. So in terms of my allies and vassals, let's start to analyze what they need. I'm never really going to be able to build up MSI because they hate me, I hate them, and that's never, not going to change. So the GGU, um, I'm trying to think of like a meaningful way to build them up. Um, Probably starting to do research packs with them to help with their research and maybe commercial packs as well. This is going to cost me a lot of influence, but it's a way for me to build them up, I suppose. And it will improve my relationship with them. But I'm only going to do those with the allies of mine that share uh, similar ideologies. I'm not going to do this for the spiritualists. They will either convert or or be left behind economically. Them's the rules that are just made up. Construction complete. So I don't have enough uh, alloys at the moment to build the next Dyson Sphere, but it is already making energy. Ungus is a better bulwark. Yeah, this game is a, a quite a complex and deep 4X game, much like most of Par Paradox's games, but uh, 
If you have the patience to learn compl complex games, this game is a lot of fun. Not for the faint of heart, though. So I'm sending third fleet over here just to mess with the amoeba so we can see the uh, the fleet in action. Who else can we... Gox. Whoa, why are they jumping around so fast? Ungus, Gox. So Gox, I could do some diplomacy as well. Uh, we actually already have the agreements. Never mind. The little robots. I have to improve my relation with them. Fine. They're loyal, but we are neutral. They only exist because I, like, release them from their calculation servitude. But, all right, there we go. That also should um, satisfy some of my Technology factions. Discovered. Because previously... Oh, I need to fix Born Equal. Uh, previously, my materialists um, wanted signs without borders, and I hadn't done that. But obviously, I've done that now. Let's uh, let's set up born equal to to satisfy the egalitarians because that's something I um I think I owe them. So that would be a policy of leader enhancement, natural selection. Everyone born equal. There we go. I'm, I'm trying to keep the egalitarians and materialists happy. I'm never going to keep the militarists happy, so I'm not even bothering. I'm actually suppressing them instead. <laughs> Well, so here's the shipyard core. But I think between the shipyard core and the other mega projects, I'll probably go the other mega projects. But now since um I'm sort of like out of alloys entirely the edicts for agricultural renaissance could probably be repealed uh and also will the power because my influence is like maxed i'll do zero additives though my leaders will live 30 years or longer my leaders are gonna uh, what what is their I'm really curious now what their average lifespan is. Um, I don't even know how to see that. But if you wanted to see my carriers in action, here we go. Don't blink, because it's going to disappear really quick. In fact, I think the Titans are probably going to snipe. enemy fleet. So here's all the fighters. That, like, blue spray is the fighters. And you disappeared. <laughs> that was quick. I don't have an enemy, though, to attack, so, you know. What's on the center floor? Oh, wow, look, the Space Amoeba Act might not pass. I would need to like call in favors if I wanted it. I, I know I'm not that invested in in what wins though. I don't really care, but I'm surprised that I don't outweigh everybody else. Um, I just want to throw weight around though, so I am gonna buy some favors. Uh, no, I don't give. I want favor, and I will transfer you some consumer goods, not monthly. Okay, they don't care about consumer goods. Uh, you probably want Zero. Everybody likes Zero. How much Zero do I have? I've got 2k, so I'll give you half my Zero, and I'll give you some Dark Matter, too. Okay, and uh, what about artifacts? 
There we go. See? Just a gentle bribe. Accept it. You have like 28 days. All right, there we go. And then call in favor. Done. No, nope, we're still still going to lose. That's too bad. Uh, there's not enough time to tamper. Oh, well. I tried. Sorry, Amoeba. Tried to keep you protected, but uh, it's not going to happen. Let's go have my carrier fleet destroy some pirates. Thank you for watching Stellaris First Contact, which originally streamed live on Twitch April 11th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com also has a link to Discord, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons. Twitch subscribers and viewers like you who support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. Hope to catch you in the next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow Stellaris players.